वेलकम बैक टू माई क्लास यू नो दैट आई एम हलीम निशान टीचर एंड जूनियर लेक्चर ऑफ एल एफ हाई स्कूल एंड जूनियर कॉलेज इन टूडेज क्लास वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट द चैप्टर फिफ्थ विच इज डीलिंग विद द सोशल स्टडीज ऑफ नाइन्थ क्लास एंड चैप्टर नेम इज बायोस्फियर तो हियर इन दिस चैप्टर इट डिस्क्राइब दैट द अर्थ इज ए यूनिक प्लानट एंड इन दैट इट हैज अ लाइफ थ्रीविंग ऑन इट एग्जैक्टली so it is inhabited by the countless form of life from the microscopic bacteria to the great banyan tree and the animals like elephants tigers blue whales and of course the human beings also so here the fact that the earth has so here the fact is that the earth has a combination of land air and water and with the moderate of the temperature due to the moderate distance from the sun and has made life possible on it absolutely so here that the life thrives only in the intersections of the three spheres and that are lithosphere atmosphere and hydrosphere so according to many geographers here the life itself consists of the separate sphere is called the biosphere now we will discuss about this biosphere what is that and how it is work to the and how it is affected to the lives of the human beings and as well as to the animals and to the atmosphere also so here all the forms of the life have been integrated connection with the land air water and sunshine around them exactly so here they draw their substance from them and in turn and affect them and significant the different ways so here the various form of life are not only related to the three spheres around them but interact to each other also so here there are the part of a complex food chain here in that one kind of life becomes the food for another kind so here the many of the life forms are also symbiotic that is their life is by exchanging the initial substance with each other get it here so here the since all living and non living things on the earth are in a way or the other connected to each other exactly so here the changing affecting one and in due to the time effect all others too get it here so now we will see about the natural vegetation here a natural vegetation is generally classified into the three broad categories and that are forest area in which the sufficient rainfall and sunshine is there grasslands in region with the moderate rains and shrubs in dry regions so in very cold regions here we have tundra vegetation consisting of a small shrubs moss and the lichens here so there are different kinds of forests depending upon the climate of the place exactly and some of them are namely as so there are different kinds of forest depending upon the climate of the places exactly so see these pictures with the names of the different type of forest and they are tropical evergreen forest and tropical deciduous forest and temperate evergreen forest and temperate deciduous forest and mediterranean vegetation and at last the coniferous forest so here after seeing and observing the pictures of the different type of the forest now we will discuss about the grasslands so here the grasslands are also there and namely as this see these pictures with their names tropical grasslands temperate grasslands thorny bushes and tundra vegetation so here after observing the forest and the grasslands now we will discuss about the human society and environment here down the ages human societies have been interacting with the environment and in this process changing it here the hunters and gatherers used stones tools made up of wood etc to hunt the animals and gather the tubers and fruits here so they learned to use the fire by lighting the sticks and the grass so here the first source of the energy to be used get it here 
So here the begin the tail of the human endovia at alter the environment to satisfy their needs and survival also. Here the human beings also begin the investigating into the nature of the environment around them in order to able to change and use them for their purpose. So here the build of knowledge of the environment is an essential part of the human beings and interacting with the natural world exactly. When human beings begin to practice the agriculture and the animal husbandry, so they begin to change their environment even more for the betterment. Exactly. So here the building of cities and the use of the metals like bronze and iron further changes the human interaction with the environment. Exactly. And here before long people begin to build the tanks to store the waters and canals to divert the water to the fields and even the dams across the streams and rivers also. Here the people also build the roads to connect the distance between the places and sail the ships and boats across the seas and oceans. So in this way, the human societies establish themselves not only on every continent except the Antarctic, but over the seas and oceans too. So here like this, the human society interact with the environment and take the advantages of the environment for their better survival and their needs and to build up the human society in a better and a good way. So here this process of the altering the surface of the earth received a great push with the industrial revolution and the process of colonization. So here the industrial production needs the raw materials to unprecedented scale. And here the industrial countries begin to here the industrial production needs raw materials to an unprecedented scale and here the industrial countries begin to search for the diverse kind of the raw materials and the sources of the energy all over the globe here. So they explore the world and made the inventories of all the possible resources. Get it here. So for this purpose, they dug deep wells and tried to find out what lay the underneath and also they explore the space high above in the atmosphere. So soon the systematic mining and the cutting forests and the build of the factories and the fields and the roads took place all over the earth here. So the nations began to wage wars with each other to gain the control over these resources. So here such intense human industrial activity has profound impact on the air, water and the land around us exactly like industrial pollutants and effluents here. So like the industries pollutants and the effluents see in this here the modern industries and the transport system use the immense amount of energy waste derived basically from the coal and the petroleum which are called as a fossil fuels as remains of the forest buried underground lack of years ago exactly so the burning of these fossil fuels releases the large quantities of carbon dioxide and other chemical gas uh, like nitrogen oxide and the sulfur dioxide and the volatile organic compounds and the heavy metals so they also release the sulfuric and the carbonic and the nitric acids which cause what are called as also the acidic rains here. So here the acid rains are the caused by the mining of the acidic particles of the atmosphere with the rain by increasing the acid to content of rain water get it so in addition to this burning of the fossil fuels here the modern industries realize the enormous amount of the waste materials in the form of solid liquid and gaseous waste containing the air water and both the surface air water and both surface water like rivers and the underground water 
of wells and soil also so here like this the inner pollutants and the afflatants take place take place and affect the atmosphere and air water and groundwater also so here now we will see the depletion of the resources industrialization rapid growth of the population and the urbanization have, have all led to the exploitation of the natural resources like the minerals forest oil soil water etc are they as well the source of energy like coal petroleum so stored in the earth for the billions of years ago so this has resulted in the rapid reforestation and the decline of the resources of minerals oil and groundwater also so many scientists have argued that the present way of life is not sustainable for our life exactly if we use such a large quantity of the natural resources nothing will be left for our children and for our grandchildren exactly so here all the living beings on the earth depend on the environment and have to live the according to the environment only totally. but for their enjoyment and their development here the human beings are destroying the nature exactly so here the commercial activities carried by the human beings are affecting every life and every matter on the earth so here if they continue like this it will be dangerous not only to the animals but also to the human beings themselves so here by this depletion of the resources we have completed our fifth chapter that is biosphere thank you